me just say, ladies and gentlemen, that it's an honour to have been a friend of, of Dennis Bray. He is um, a fantastic man, an absolutely brilliant man, and uh, I, I, I love him dearly. Dennis played a significant part in my childhood. Over the three years we were, the two families were together in Malaysia, we spent a lot of holidays and weekends together. And during that time, Dennis was like a second father. Dennis and Marley lived in a house on the beach in Malacca. It was idyllic for me. Um, and I have very fond memories of being there. Throughout my childhood, Dennis played a big part. And as I said already, it was almost a second dad. Whether it was fishing, going to the test match at the Oval, flying model aeroplanes, which he enjoyed, I think, as much as I did, or improving my sex education. He was always irreverent and great fun. And it's a privilege to be here this afternoon, invited to be with you, and to tell you a few stories about yourself. I will always remember our time together with great fondness and part of a very happy childhood. Well, I started at the village primary school when I was five. I did quite well at school and I won a scholarship to Skinner's. I started at Skinner's in September 1944. There I got my school certificate, played in the school first 11 cricket team. I was a keen footballer. And during the 49-51 season, I played football for St Paul's Rust Hall under-18 team. We won both the local league and the cup for two years running. I entered the RAF for national service in December 1951. And after basic training at Padgate, I was stationed at RAF Bentley Priory. During my time in the RAF, I took part in the Queen's Coronation Parade. I went to the University of London to do my teacher training. And at Goldsmiths I played in the college first 11s in football and cricket and was awarded colours of both. I started teaching at Sussex Road School in Tunbridge in 1956 
I continued to play cricket and football, cricket for our local village team and a spell with Tunbridge Wells. During one season I amassed a total of 94 goals. Now during my career I took from 1956 to 1960 at Sussex Road before moving to St John's Tunbridge Wells. I was there for two years and in the spring of 1962 I went for an interview at the Army Education Corps headquarters in Elton Palace and was offered a teaching post with the British Army Children's Schools. And in April 1962, Marlin and I flew to Singapore to work the BACS Terenda School, Malacca, Malaya. It was in Malaya that both Nicola and Debbie was born. It was also in, Mal in Malaya that we met the cars. Came back to England in 1965. During my teaching career I gained a Bachelor of Education degree from the University of Southampton, a Master's degree in Child Psychology from the University of Kent. I've been so lucky though, I really have been lucky. I've spent my life in a lovely, loving family. I have loved and I have been loved. What more can you ask for? Yeah.